hello 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 guys i'm back with another video today i'm going to be demonstrating how to use the embryo auto touch with the embryo medication and before we begin the video i'm just going to give like a quick little lesson on how to use the device just some key tips to probably help you out so on the back of the device you have the door on this side the arrow is used to open the door you press it the door opens this is like the medication window once you place your medication you can just see the liquid it's really no help or whatever if you like to see how much of the liquid you have left to go into you know your skin or whatever that's what that's for and right here you have a sound bar the up is the sound the red is no sound i like to use the sound because it, it notifies you of you know like what is actually going on with the machine rather than having it off then you get no notifications and you don't know what's going on so it's very important to keep that on also at the back you have a speed so as you can see the plus sign mean it's a faster speed that the medication will be administered the dot is a medium administered of the medication and the minus sign is a slower speed of the medication i usually tell the patients to keep it like in the middle on the dot because you don't want your medication coming out too fast you don't want it coming out too slow you want it like right in the middle you know so you can get your medication and get it over here okay and you don't want it too fast so other than that we're going to open up the device so we're going to add the medication and we're going to get started with the video so you take your medication which is your cartridge you always place the label at the back of the window so this is your label you always put it in like that if you don't put it in like this it wouldn't even go down so it wouldn't even let you so just make sure you always place the label at the back of the door and you close it okay and boom it's closed so it's closed you can see like the window is lighting up just letting you know that you know your device is ready so when you're ready you clean your area now for this injection you should know that or your physician or nurse whoever you know gave you the embryo should have told you that the injection can go in the abdominal area, which is your stomach, or it can go in the thigh. Most people do it in the thigh because it's more comfortable you giving it to yourself in your thigh. So you clean your injection site. And to begin, you're going to have to remove your safety cap. Once you do that, you place it down on your thigh. Let me turn it around real quick so you can see it. You place it down on your thigh where you're going to give your injection. Boom, right there. So, as you can see, this is glowing up green. So, by that growing up green, it's just telling you that you placed your you placed your injection on the place you want to administer the medication. The green button is to let you know that the device is ready to begin administering the medication. So all you have to do is, it's kind of hard doing this holding the camera, but you press it down. And as you can see, the medication is administering. This just showing you how much of the medication you have left. Once the medication is done, it's going to do a chime to let you know that the medication is done. Bam. That's all. So you can lift it up. Your device is still doing its thing. And... It opens to let you know that everything is all set. So, by that being finished, you just take your medication out. You dispose of this in your nearest safety hazard box. So, you close your device, you put it up. Now, also, you really don't have to do batteries or worry about any maintenance for this thing. It should work pretty good, pretty decent it's a pretty decent device it lasts up to two years after two after the two years you may have to replace the batteries but other than that it should work pretty decent um what else i also wanted to just show you guys a couple of 
of the things that was in the diagram. Just in case you have any concerns or questions, I wanted to show you this because this will help you if you have any of these signs to let you know what they mean. So let's flip it back around. So it's just telling you about the speaker, the error symbol, everything that I was just explaining to you. And like with certain things mean of course if you see this this will tell you that you know the battery is low and stuff like that but and that's all that but other than that it should be pretty easy to use the device hopefully you know this video really helped you guys out and it answers some of your unanswered questions so have a nice one stay safe bye